Well, there have now been two nights of protests across the U.S., and police are gearing up for more. Crowds have been marching through Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., New York, and Chicago, among many others. The protests are mainly proving to be peaceful thus far, but keeping an eye on it, police have had to move into some of them which have threatened to turn rowdy. One of the groups organizing anti-Trump rallies is called Move On. It's calling for action and demonstrations against the president-elect nationwide. However, Move On apparently has ties to billionaire investor George Soros. Ah, there's a name to conjure with. That information uh, came to light from the emails leaked by WikiLeaks from Hillary Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. In the leaked emails, Soros uh, is told about activists who need funding with the Move On group highlighted. Interesting turn of events. Let's talk uh, live to Marco Gasic, international affairs commentator. Mark, what, what, what's the fuss about here? Uh, the, Trump, whether you like him or not, was elected fairly and squarely by the looks of it. Nobody's saying the votes were rigged. Nobody's saying there's anything underhand here. Don't people just simply have to accept that that's the way it is? Democracy played out. The majority of the people wanted it. Well, thereabouts. There he is. Yeah, uh, well, I would certainly agree, Kevin. Uh, in essence, what uh, the opponents of Trump now are doing is exactly what they accused him of bit planning to do if he lost, which is uh, disputing the results of an entirely fair uh, election. It's an election where they've had all the media power and more of the money and yet they've lost to him and to the voice of those ordinary people uh, in the American shires who are normally ignored and forgotten. So they've spoken up uh, as, in, uh, as in the UK uh, earlier. So it's a kind of a, 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 a it's a, almost a, a tussle now between uh, the Clinton Soros uh, view which is that the only uh, democracy that's allowed is a one party democracy that agrees with what you say and uh, or rather with what they say. And if that uh, doesn't happen, then they're ready to do a colour revolution to uh, destroy that democracy well, you, and that democratic vote. I was going to say... And that, they've uh, done it abroad, now they're doing it at home. Are these genuine protesters, or going on from what I was saying just now, you know, given these uh, latest WikiLeaks revelations about um, uh, funding activists, could, it, could they be activists that are funded, stirring it up, not genuinely uh, people that are genuinely aggrieved with the, with, with the democratic process? Well, I think it's uh, the, those who are stirring it up, and they do, uh, many of them work for George Soros' uh, front organizations, are really, uh, being, uh, are really telling those innocent protesters and, and perhaps less innocent protesters that they're in danger, that they're endangered by Trump, even though Trump has done nothing but preach unity since he actually won uh, the election. So it's clear that what they object to in Trump, that's to say what the uh, globalist elite object to in Trump, is perhaps something else other than the things they're telling the protesters about. And I think what they really want, I don't think they really imagine they're going to get rid of Trump, but what they want to do is to intimidate him into agreeing to, uh, to settle for social peace at home as long as the mm. globalist, globalist elites are allowed to pursue their continuing wars abroad. And so really it's a trade-off where, in effect, they want him to throw in the towel and become a neocon just like they are. We're showing our viewers, um, one of the protesters in the streets, they're saying that, that uh, Trump should be assassinated. OK, maybe she made that off the cuff, maybe whatever. But... Is it going to turn that way? Is it going to get more and more violent? Or is this all, all going to die down? That, I think, is the uh, $64,000 question. But effectively, uh, that sense of inevitability of the kind of Western liberal globalist movement has been uh, brought short by the return of a traditionalist kind of old white male. And it's something that they find intolerable. But as I say, if uh, this, and as you say indeed, the election was fought in a fair way, a relatively fair way, slightly to the detriment of Donald Trump, who didn't make things easier for himself with some of his sound bites. Mm. But now that the election has been fought and won by him, they should put up or shut up. Well, now California is saying they would like to reject these results. They say it's not consistent with the state's values. I mean, on, the, on the, the legal side of it, how can they say that? He won this election fair and square by the rules. What are they talking about there? I think we're talking about someone stirring the pot there because America has never had traditionally had a problem with accepting the results of elections. We now have, uh, as I say, Soros behind uh, many uh, color revolutions in other countries are now financing, in effect, a kind of semi-color revolution in the U.S. I don't know whether it categorizes as treason, but he certainly operates 
from the shadows, in the shadows. His only legitimacy is his wallet, and his only uh, concern is to create the kind of democracy that he can prop up uh, and gain an interest from. So that's the kind of person who's behind this uh, continuing protest against what, at the end of the day, was a valid, legitimate, free mm. and fair election. Obama's not said too much about this trouble that's brewing at the moment. Uh, do you think he will step in? I mean, what can he say? Maybe he's trying to stay out of it so it doesn't get stoked up any further. What, what response, if any, are we expecting from him soon? Well, I think that President Obama has the power, immorally, in a sense, through his popularity, to actually considerably stop and dampen down these tensions. But I think he's quite um, pleased in the short term that they're happening, and then he will finally turn up and, in a slightly moderate voice, ask for some, uh, 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 some more calmness. But actually, he should really be uh, much quicker about his reaction, because it is the fundamentals of American democracy that are being uh, threatened here. If uh, little uh, groups disagree with, uh, with an election, the idea that they can then demonstrate their way uh, into political power is in effect trying to turn the U.S. into the banana republic that so many other uh, states have had happened to them as a result of the efforts of uh, previous American administrations. Some might say it's the... Uh, the, the source for what source for the goose is source. Well, there's a phrase about it anyway. Yeah, the point one. is, uh, poetic justice, I think, is the uh, <laughs> is the uh, the uh, the essence of it. Marco Gasic, international affairs commentator. Thanks for your time today. Have a good evening.